In May 2021, Colonial Pipeline, which supplies nearly half of the East Coast's fuel, was hit by a ransomware attack. The company was forced to shut down its operations, causing panic buying, fuel shortages, and price spikes across the region. The hackers didn't just target IT systems, they also breached operational technology, OT, systems, which control the physical flow of fuel. While the OT systems were quickly isolated, the attack exposed how vulnerable critical infrastructure is to cyber threats. This incident cost Colonial Pipeline $4.4 million in ransom and caused widespread disruption. But it also underscored the importance of standards like IEC 62443, which provide a framework for securing OT systems. In this video, we're going to explore what IEC 62443 is, why it's the gold standard for industrial cybersecurity, and how it can prevent disasters like the one at Colonial Pipeline. Stick around, because by the end, you'll not only understand IEC 62443, but also walk away with real-world insights and interview-ready knowledge. Let's dive in. So what did industries do before IEC 62443? Back in the day, industrial systems were air-gapped, meaning they weren't connected to the internet. But as technology advanced, these systems became interconnected for better efficiency. The downside? They also became prime targets for hackers. Industries tried to secure their systems, but there was no unified framework. Companies used ad hoc solutions, which often left gaps in their defenses. For example, in 2010, the Stuxnet worm targeted Iran's nuclear facilities, causing physical damage to centrifuges. This was a wake-up call for the world. Enter IEC 62443 a comprehensive standard designed specifically for industrial automation and control systems, IACS. It provides a structured approach to identify risks, implement safeguards, and respond to threats. But here's the kicker. Not all parts of this standard apply to everyone. Let's break it down. IEC 62443. Standard is divided into four main groups. Asset owners, like power plants or manufacturing facilities. System integrators, those who design and implement control systems. Product suppliers, companies that make industrial devices. Service providers, those who maintain these systems. Each group has specific responsibilities under the standard. For example, asset owners focus on risk assessment, while product suppliers ensure their devices meet security requirements. This division makes IEC 62443 flexible and scalable for different industries. But here's something interesting. Do you think all parts of the standard apply to every company? Not necessarily. For instance, a small manufacturing unit might only need to focus on patch management, while a power grid operator might need to implement advanced network segmentation. It all depends on the risk assessment. Now, let's tackle another question. What type of standard is IEC 62443? IEC 62443 is primarily a descriptive standard. But what does that mean? Descriptive standards tell you what to achieve but don't specify how to achieve it. For example, IEC 62443 might say, secure your system against unauthorized access, but it won't tell you exactly how to do it. On another hand, Prescriptive standards tell you how to achieve a goal. For example, use a firewall to block unauthorized access. IEC 62443 is descriptive because it focuses on outcomes rather than specific methods. This makes it flexible and adaptable to different industries and technologies. Let's dive deeper into one of the most important concepts in IEC 62443. SLT, Security Level Target. So, what is SLT and why does it matter? SLT is a measure of how secure a system needs to be. There are four levels. SLT 1, Protection Against Accidental or Casual Violations, such as Preventing Operator Mistakes. SLT 2, Defense Against Intentional but Low-Skilled Attacks, 
such as blocking basic malware or phishing. SLT3 – Resilience to Sophisticated Planned Cyber Attacks, such as Defending Against Ransomware or Insider Threats. SLT4 – Highest Security, Safeguarding Against Advanced Persistent Threats. APTs, such as Nation-State Cyber Espionage. But how do you achieve these levels? Achieving SLT levels requires implementing security controls from IEC 62443. SLT1 – Basic Cybersecurity Hygiene, Strong Passwords, User Training, and Network Segmentation. SLT2 – Add Firewalls, Endpoint Protection, and Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA. SLT3 – Implement Intrusion Detection, Security Patching, and Strict Access Controls. SLT4 – Use Zero Trust Architecture, Continuous Monitoring, and Air-Gapped Critical Systems. Let's take an Industrial Control System, ICS, Network, as an example to show how SLT2 and SLT3 differ in implementation. SLT2 – A factory installs firewalls to block unauthorized traffic, uses antivirus on engineering workstations, and requires MFA for remote access. This protects against basic malware and phishing attacks. SLT3 – The same factory adds Intrusion Detection Systems IDS, to monitor network traffic enforces regular security patching, and implements role-based access control, RBAC, to limit who can make critical changes. This defends against more sophisticated targeted cyber attacks. Higher SLT levels require stronger controls to counter more advanced threats. But how do you know if you've achieved your target? That's where SLA, Security Target Achieved, comes in. SLA is calculated by assessing how well your system meets the required SLT. For example, if your system has implemented 90% of the required measures, your SLA is 90%. Higher SLA means stronger security. Now, let's talk about real-world applications. Major OEMs like Siemens, Honeywell, Rockwell, ABB, Delta V, and Yokogawa claim to have achieved certain SLs for their systems. For example, Siemens S7-1500 PLC is designed to meet SLT3 requirements. But how do they justify these claims? They use a combination of secure development practices, rigorous testing, and third-party certifications. For instance, ABB's systems undergo penetration testing to ensure they meet the required SLT. Here's a fun fact. According to a 2022 report by Gartner, over 70% of industrial systems in critical infrastructure sectors now comply with IEC 62443. This level of rigor is why it's trusted worldwide. By now, you've learned why IEC 62443 is the gold standard for industrial cybersecurity, how SLT levels work and how major vendors comply with it. In the next video, we'll dive into how to implement IEC 62443 in your organization step by step. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Got questions or insights? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.